Good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. May 30th, 2018. Very wet outside. Finally cooling off after the heat wave of all heat waves. The hottest start to a summer ever recorded in Wisconsin, I heard. I believe it. Or at least in this area. Did not enjoy <laughs> it one bit. Yeah, it was not up uh, not up in your real house. No, 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 no. I would say. Nope. Didn't like anything about it. And that's that. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thanks for handling things yesterday. Got a little extended uh, time off yesterday. It was tough. I'll tell you, I barely made it through. <laughs> and that is not a joke. <laughs> no, you were, I, you were not doing well. It's not mentioned that, that, oh that you uh, ran into the uh, allergy but he, bush But he or made something. it. Like a trooper, he made it through. <laughs> oh, Are boy. you just officially allergic to everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But especially yesterday. It was it was seriously probably the worst I I've never seen in my memory bad. of my allergies. really it yeah. was bad I've never seen him that bad <laughs> it was a miserable day for me I I went home Your eyes. and was just like <laughs> why <laughs> you know screaming why? to the heavens on that one it was not not great hmm. and like the heat just makes it so much worse like I already have a headache and I'm like feeling like my head's gonna explode and then you're out yeah. and the heat's just like beating down and it's just not a good mm -hmm. feeling you know yeah actually coming off of the Memorial Day. Uh, the observance here was out there filming that. Yeah, I felt a little dehydrated when I got. I couldn't believe it. I, it happens quick. Yeah, yeah. And I was indoors, but I didn't. I realized that I didn't drink any water the whole time I was out yeah. there. Like, doesn't take much, mm -mm. especially on a hot day. Took a while to get cooled down, but. Whew. At least we're all here today. That's the important thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now the rain. So maybe that'll help the allergies a it, little bit. Wash yeah. some of that uh, stuff away. So. Oh yeah, we're feeling. I said I already. couldn't even come up with a percentage how much better I feel today. So he already said when he came in, I'm like, you look way better than you did yesterday, <laughs> just because you didn't look miserable. Yep. <laughs> Big difference. So yeah. reaching to the mother nature, and you know, mm -hmm. you yeah. got you got what you. I wished cried for out. Her. She heard me. And she sent down the reins. She delivered. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> okay Good. then. Yes. Uh, well, hello everybody. Let's uh, let's kick the show off here uh, today. Got a uh, fun, filled, jam-packed show, and uh, yeah, we'll get you updated on, uh, of course, your headlines today. Taking a look at uh, swimming safety. If you're heading out to the beaches, uh, got a way for you to know if the beaches are safe to go swimming mm. at, and tips to stay safe while you're at the beach, just in time. Just time. Right after the heat wave. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good. You know, really, we would be normally talking about the, you know, just summer like started. Right. You right. Know, well, yeah. Just like that. It's kind of that unofficial start was on Monday, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. So we've got that for you. Then we're going to preview this weekend's Festa. Oh, yeah. Excited. It's going to be great. And we've got uh, one of the organizers here to tell us a little bit about that. A lot of fun stuff happening all weekend long course we'll be out there for that one as well mm -hmm. and wrap up the show a little pb and j so just it's a show it's a show all right let's kick it off with taking a look at the weather that seems like it's the main story today right uh, as you see it's raining actually i heard some thunder before i walked yep, over here right, right a thunder clatter yeah boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so anytime that we can get a subtropical storm is you know passing by like yeah you're like, wait, is that coming Oof. from Lake Michigan? It's going on a heck of a trip. <laughs> yeah. The uh, Alberto storm is tracking northward today and uh, from western Kentucky through Indiana in the lowest part of uh, Michigan. Moisture from the system along with passing low pressure. You talk about that low pressure all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll bring showers and a few thunderstorms, which we've already experienced today uh, and through the evening with up to an inch of rainfall expected. Rainfall may be locally heavy, potentially causing localized street flooding. The showers and storms will diminish tonight, but a chance will linger into Thursday, along with humid conditions. <laughs> right Oof. back into it. Yeehaw. Yeah, so temperatures down today, mm -hmm. then they go right back up. Not yep. 90s, though, but high 80s. So. Hey, we'll, we'll take it, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's better than nothing. All right, now we'll turn our attention over to the Pittsburgh Police Department uh, with the with a motor, theft of a motor vehicle. Um, definitely a lesson, kind of a interesting story here on this one. Hey, this is very... Uh, a new thing to keep in mind, maybe, yeah. when you're out shopping. So on uh, May 29th at approximately 7.57 p.m., Fitchburg officers was, were dispatched to the Pick and Save grocery store at 3010 K Hill, Maine, for a report of a theft of a motor vehicle. The victim stated while she was shopping, two suspects described as black females, approximately 15 years old, approached her cart where the victim had left her vehicle keys. Suspects snatched the keys out of the cart, 
then left the store, got into the victim's vehicle, and drove off. The victim was not injured. The vehicle has not been recovered yet, though. So if you have any information related to the incident, please contact the Fitchburg Police Department, 608-270-4300. And, yeah, just another thing, I guess, keep in mind where your keys are at all times, even uh, in the store there. Yeah, very interesting there. Uh, all right, uh, construction job fair is happening today. Today here, folks. Are you ready for this? Du, du. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Du, 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 it is today. It's 4.30 to 6 tonight at 2222 South Park Street. Come anytime. Pre-registration is not required. Make sure you bring a resume and come prepared to speak to contractors ready to hire. Cool. Over 20 contractors looking to hire, by the way, in case you were wondering. And, uh, yeah, full list is up at the Urban League, uh, uh, Urban League, I almost said Urban League of Wisconsin, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's not that. Yep. It's the Urban League of Greater Madison, and a whole bunch of other partners are a part of this. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, anywhere from storage, plumbing, construction, general construction, All technology. Construction like construction industry, it's, basically, yeah. Yeah, it's a very diverse uh, group of construction uh, folks out there, so. Indeed. Yeah. Good opportunity to get out there. Also, another good opportunity right here in Fitchburg, CPR classes. That's right. Did you know that 70% uh, of out-of-hospital cardiac arrests happen in homes? Statistically speaking, statistically speaking, I should say, if you are called to give CPR in an emergency, you will most likely be trying to save the life of someone you love, spouse, a parent, or a child or a friend, and... Luckily for you here, in as little as 10 minutes, the Pitcherona EMS paramedics can teach you how to do hands-only CPR and use an AED. Space is limited. Please register at the reference desk on the second floor here, uh, or you can call 608-729-1763 to get signed up for it. It's a good opportunity to learn something very, very valuable. Yeah. Uh, when that emergency strikes, you know, you're like, oh, I'll be able to step in and do it. It's hard to say. You know, you want to... You want to train, practice, have a chance to ask those questions. So when that emergency does arise, you are just ready to say, "I know what I'm. I know what to do to get started." Yep. You know, it's that planning stage that's really important. So indeed, hope you can make it to that. All right, turning our attention to the library and Sundays. There are no Sundays. Dun, that's right. Library is closed starting May 27th. The library will be closed on Sundays throughout the summertime. But don't worry, it opens right back up on Mondays. Yeah. 9 a.m. 9 to 9. Hey, get in so there. Good. Mm -hmm. Just not on Sundays. Because <laughs> they're not there. No Sundays. No Sundays. No Sundays. Stay home. Enjoy uh, what's going on in the summer. Whatever you do on Go Sunday. outside. Go outside. <laughs> Pretend like there's football on TV. Go outside Something. and check out this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is a great story coming from Dane County that has to do with outside. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Dane outside. County uh, is going to cap the <laughs> landfill and convert lands with prairie for pollinators. So this is a really cool story. Say what? Uh, Dane County announced that pollinators such as bees and butterflies will soon have a new home at the Dane County landfill. Dane County is currently taking proposals to plant native prairie grasses on over 90 acres at the Road, uh, Roadfeld landfill along with land owned by Dane County Solid Waste in the town of Westport. The goal of the project is to use county-owned lands to increase habitat for pollinators that have been in decline and are critical to the food that we eat, Jeremy. There's more. <laughs> 40 acres of the restoration will be done uh, when part of the Rotafield landfill is capped off of Highway uh, 12 and 18. The remaining lands being converted, it's approximately 56 acres, are located in the town of Westport off Easy Street, adjacent to the Dane County Law Enforcement Training Center. And Wisconsin has seen significant losses in honeybee colonies in recent years, declining greater than 60% Jeez. alone in 2014 and 2015. So, big deal. Pretty uh, neat way to kind of repurpose some land out there. Yeah, I like this. Nothing like turning something that's smelly into something that's jelly <laughs> i don't know they don't make jelly but they pollinate things that could make mm -hmm. jelly yeah it's gonna be gonna be a great thing there so uh glad to hear if we get any other updates on that we'll pass them right along to you indeed let's take a quick break Alrighty. coming up next grab your swim trunks grab those goggles and grab uh, uh sunglasses and you're gonna want to head out as we get out to the beach tell you how to stay safe it's next right here on talking fitchburg